from here. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here. And today, we got a hobby box of 1920 UD Premier. So UD Premier, one or more higher end sets. We're only getting one pack, six cards per pack. Now looking at this box, we just compare it to a tin, which is what Premier should be in. Looks like there's not a tin in there, which is kind of disappointing. I'm not sure why. That's just the first thing. This box is really small. But yeah, Premier, pretty much the patch set. That's how I would describe Premier. In any given box, we're getting an acetate autograph patch and one additional auto, two relics and two base. So one star, one rookie. The big draws for this are the Premier RPAs, the mega patches, basically patches in here. There's a bunch of other interesting signatures in here. There's Pursuing Greatness. There's your horizontal rookie autos this year. You got some Premier Collection retro autos in here. The potential is solid. I really do like Premier. The objective for this break is to get a nice RPA. I don't necessarily collect them, but if I pull them, I'll keep them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. But there's that. Also, there's tiers to your RPAs. The tier threes are in the 99. There's your gold ones. I have a couple golds from 1819 in the back there. The rookie platinum blues, one of ones. There's a lot of blue one of ones in here to keep an eye out for but yeah 1920 premiere one of my favorite sets and with that being said this box cost i don't even know it was close to the 300 this stuff started around 230 canadian and it's pushing 300 now or at 300 now which is ridiculous but yeah let's open up some 1920 premiere okay got the seal off there we'll see if there's a tin in here i'm kind of doubting it and ah uh, there's no tin uh, that's kind of disappointing no tin i don't know why they're doing that is it because of packing which doesn't really make sense considering that they produce a crap ton of these so i don't know why there's no tin okay but yeah also i don't know who's a redemption in here i guess we'll find out hopefully not too many players but there you go we got a thick pack right there hopefully get two patches in here but we're getting two autos for sure so Let's just have a look right here. Look at the side there. Uh, looks like we got a few thick cards in there. Three thick cards. So I'm assuming the RPA is the first one there. So I got to be a bit creative in getting these out. So yeah. Okay, Premiere. So, okay. The top two and bottom two are thin cards. I guess we'll do those first and then we'll run off the thick cards. Okay, Premiere. Okay, first card is a Seth Jones base. 188 of 299, I think. The nine's a little messed up there, but there you go. 188 of 299. That looks pretty nice there. The standard Premier there. Premier has been back since 1415. It was around in the early 2000s. They brought it back in 1415. But yeah, there you go. Seth Jones. There's a nice looking base card there. All right, next card on the top should be a rookie. I got to not look here. I don't want to spoil anything at all. Okay. Got a rookie, Joey Decord. So there's another rookie, Joy Decord. I'm recording this, I think, just after the NHL draft rounds two through seven. I was watching that before I went to go get this box. But yeah, Joy Decord is the rookie there. All right, let's do the back card first here. So this card here, uh, should, yeah, okay, let's take it out there. Claude Giroux, just a jersey there. Not numbered, premier jersey. That game used there. Uh, NHL game. There you go. Game use piece of Drew there. Good Drew. Simple stuff there. Okay. Next up, another thin card. Here it is. What the heck is this? Okay. All right. We got a premier swatches. Mitch Marner. Number ah 18 of 99. Not 16, but there's Mitch Marner. That's a nice design in there. Get like the blue and purple on the left there. Got a blue swatch there. Mitch Marner. There you go. Another game use piece. There is Marner. Okay. What should we do next? Should we do the uh, RPA? I think we should do the RPA next. Should I get another filler card? Jeez. Okay. Not looking at all. Not looking at all. Okay. Here we go. Here is the RPA. And we'll see. Wait. Yeah, it's the RPA. Okay. Uh, Detroit Red Wings. Wait. Wait, that's an update? Is that Rasmussen? The heck? Michael Rasmussen. 1819 update. 65 and 99. It's number to 99, so that's your highest tier, but it's Rasmussen. Yeah. There are some updates in here. The names weren't that great, so I didn't bother mentioning them, but there you go. There's Rasmussen. Update Premier RPA from 1819. Yeah, not too huge on that one there. It's number to 99, so hopefully you still get something decent in this box. There's Rasmussen. Next card here. Another thick card. Uh, I think it might be vertical. Yeah, we got a shark here. Oh, Brent Burns? Nice. Ink scripts. Brent Burns. 
And of course, corner where there's black. The edges aren't great there, but yeah, Brent Burns on card auto. Nice. 50 of 50. Big on card auto, Brent Burns there. Ink scripts. So that's a nice card there, Brent Burns. I'll take it. So there's Burns. And the final card of this break. Uh, 1920 Premier, probably not the last time I opened Premier. Ah, oh, it's just a patch. It's a goalie. It's Vasilevsky. Come on, nice patch. Frick. Fights drop, though, the five. Andre Vasilevsky. Fights drop to five. So. <laughs> Feels interesting there. Four of five, Andre Vasilevsky. Fights drop. So there's that. Game use piece. Yeah. So yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 1920 Premier. Interesting box, I would say. Uh, there's some basic stuff there, your jerseys and your base. We got a fight strap. Only got one patch. It's kind of disappointing, but we got a fight strap. There's Burns on Cardado and there's Rasmussen. Yeah. But there's that. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come, including Canada Juniors. I'll be coming out with that probably later today as of this recording. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.